Hello everyone, some really good footage here. This shows the shoot down of a Car 52 helicopter recorded by the Russians. It's great footage. We see the missile strike the helicopter, followed by smoke and debris falling off it. No location or date was given, but we do have some interesting stuff to look at. Now many people say the video shows the crew ejecting, and at first glance it does look that way. But Twitter user Dave Morrison shared this video playing now, which is zoomed in and slowed down and shows that it's likely the disintegration of rotors that we're seeing, rather than the separation of the ejection sequence, which is pretty interesting that the missile caused such damage so quickly. Basically, this airframe was a goner immediately. We have seen Car 52s take a shot and manage to limp back to safety, or even supposedly back to base, or make a controlled landing, but clearly not this one. Here's a screenshot also supplied by Dave Morrison. This shows the fuel tanks of a Car 52 falling off and a rocket pod that's separated from the hard point. Now what hit it? So the man pad has a notable white trail behind it when it launched. This is often seen with PR runs donated by Poland and Soviet era Iglas. So they are both certainly possibilities. Now no location was given, not even a district, but I can have a look at Oryx's Car 52 numbers. This one isn't listed at the time of recording, but 32 others are. These are big numbers. Last year, in October, British Ministry of Defence put the total number of Car 52s in service at 90. Now Russia has 116 airframes total, rather had 116 airframes. And since then, some of those others may be brought back into service. They were likely down for maintenance and that sort of thing. Russia also has 40 Car 52s on order, but it's unknown if any of those new ones will be delivered. Before we finish, if I could ask you to give NAFO 69th Sniffing Brigade a follow on YouTube. They often put videos out about the current fundraising activities and show some of the stuff that they bought for Ukraine, so they're definitely worth a follow. So that's it for this video, I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again. And take care, everyone.